So the first thing we need to look at is how to connect MIDI. And the nice thing is, is that there's a lot of ways. That's also the difficult part is picking the best way. So uh, Onsong uses something called Core MIDI, which is in Mac OS and iOS and iPad OS. Um, really all of uh, Apple's platforms use Core MIDI. Uh, so anything that works with Core MIDI will work with Onsong. Um, and there are hundreds if not thousands of products out there. If you have an iPad, you also have, I'm sure, a MIDI sync, or not MIDI sync, a ch sync charge cable that came with your device that you could plug into a laptop. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is plug that into my iPad, real simple, I don't, I don't think we even have to zoom in on this. <coughs> and this is called connecting MIDI with IDAM. It's a very interestingly named technology, but it stands for Inter-Device Audio and Media, or MIDI. Um, now you can hear that I connected pretty easily, just like that. So right now, my device is charging. Um, it could also um, you know, be used to synchronize with iTunes. But what I'm gonna do here real quick is I'm gonna go into, uh, onto my, my computer, and I'm gonna open up my Applications folder. And as you can see here, we have a Utilities folder, and there is an Audio MIDI setup. Now this is Mac only, I should mention. Um, and it does require newer versions of Mac OS. By this point, I think it's about two years old, so you should have support. Um, and it also requires a newer version of iOS, but again, all the, all the current versions will work. And you can see over here, if I open up Audio, audio MIDI Setup, uh, make sure I have the uh, Audio Devices window open, so you can hit Command-1. And over here will appear my iPad Air 2. And this gives a little bit of instruction here. Um, and I can simply enable IDAM by tapping on this button, clicking on this button. And now you can see, not only do I have the ability to record a, uh, inf uh, sound coming from the iPad digitally onto my Mac, uh, but it also connects it via MIDI. And if I come over here to main stage, see main stage is bouncing around here, uh, it'll say, do I wanna use this audio device? I don't wanna use the audio device. I don't wanna necessarily send or receive uh, anything uh, in main stage for that. But I'm gonna open up main stage here. Now this is running uh, Sunday Sounds, or Sunday Keys, I should say. It's a, it's a great product uh, for using main stage uh, live, um, you know, on stage is what main stage is for. But one of the problems is, you know, I have a lot of patches here that I might wanna use, and some of those patches um, I want for certain songs. Um, and so, you know, if I, let's say, click on uh, lush layered pianos, um, you know, and I'm performing, I might be performing that for my intro. Uh, but then in order to switch for my songs, I kind of have to take my, you know, take my focus off what I'm doing and scroll through here and try to find the right patch. And sometimes, you know, if you have hundreds and thousands of patches, this is going to be pretty complicated. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is switch over to my iPad. And my iPad's obviously running on song. So what I could do is tap and hold on the title of my song like this. And that's going to bring up my MIDI um, screen. This is, this is a way to uh, map MIDI or scenes to a song. So when the song loads, that scene or that MIDI is going to get sent. Um, so I can come over here and tap plus and add some MIDI. And I'm going to go over here and choose a program. And I'm just going to send it on channel one and choose program one. Okay. And what I could do then, if we can switch back to main stage, I'm gonna test this command. And the MIDI is going to flow from my iPad to my computer and automatically change my patch uh, in main stage. Now, let's stay here and see how that worked in main stage. I'm gonna exit my performance mode and go into all my patches here. And I can click on a patch and you can see down here uh, in this lower section patch settings, uh, there is an attributes tab. And what I have set up is this program change is highlighted. And you can choose what program change you want to use, uh, what you want to have mapped to that specific patch. So if I send program change two, it should then pick Whirly plus pad organ. So let's try that out. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to my iPad here and just change it to program two and tap done. 
and then I can test that as well. And what should happen is we will go to our Whirly Plus Pad Organ patch over there. Um, so that's one way that you can really easily automate uh, using OnSong to create your list of songs. Um, and for every song, you could have a specific patch set up that you wanna see, um, you wanna load, and then you could just create your own set. And no matter what order those songs are in, Main Stage will always load the correct patch. Now you could do this with other products, but you can do that using, this, this is how you can set that up using iDAM with your MIDI or your, your regular sync charge cable connected to your Mac if you're using a Mac on stage.